Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy and this is Sammy Signs and this is another Timu haul. So if you're excited to see what I have in store, um, well, just keep on watching. So, first things first, I want to get some things clear. Um, I know that your average person isn't going to be um, rude and ill-mannered, especially towards um, children and animals, but every now and then you come across somebody who um, who has the audacity to attack a child um, for no reason. So let's just make this clear. If you don't like um, the fact that this channel is going to be very family and child centric, um, then you might as well go ahead and, and leave right now. Um, and if you don't like my lifestyle and the way I live, that's fine. Go ahead and, and leave. But this is a non-judgmental, um, very uh, safe place for people to come. And I don't want to have to cuss nobody out because if I ever do reach a thousand subscribers, I'd like to be able to stay monetized. But if you come at my family or talk smack about my offspring, I'm going to pray you roll in a bowl of herpes. Now that being said, God bless. So there's this thing called a block button. And I won't say anything to you. And nobody else has to come for them either to even defend me or my offspring or my channel. Which if you do, I would appreciate, but you don't have to. Nonetheless, you will just be straight blocked. I do not need you. And if you keep if you off being off my channel keeps me from getting to a thousand subscribers, then so be it. So, anyhow, we'll get back to this uh this haul because I am so excited. So <clears throat> Um, on my last couple of hauls, when I was using one of my, my, um, new stands or whatever, it had a microphone on it and apparently it was giving a lot of, um, background noise and staticky. And I thought that it was just maybe my phone, but apparently I really wasn't the only one hearing it. And someone finally said something and I'm so grateful that they did. So because of that, I ended up getting microphones. So, so far... It's working, um, however, when I did a playback, it does sound different than how I was um, using just the sound from my phone. So, um, but I also got a microphone for my grandson so that we could both talk because I have a feeling that um, because we had a major, a big microphone that we were both able to hear both of us, but if I just have one you might not be able to hear him when he comes on. And I'm going to have him on here every now and then because I love him. And he's the sweetest thing. And um, since last bread. So that being said, this was my next uh, purchase from the Timu haul. And this is a mobile phone living uh, live recording. And this is a dual one. It's a 2.4G. Um, for Android, because this is the Android, I have a Samsung, and this was $12.78, and I've got one. And so far, I mean, if for some reason it's not sounding that good, please let me know so that I can at least upgrade or, or something. Anyhow, so, so far, I'm really, I'm, I'm liking this. Keeps your hands free. Hopefully there's no static in and hopefully there's very little crinkling to drive you crazy on opening stuff. So what I did was, yes, this is a really big haul. Um, I went in and I just made sure that there wasn't anything, any broken stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure everything's in here, but everything seems to be okay. So we're going to go ahead and, and dig in. And the first thing... Um, Okay, let's start with this. So, um, by the way, um, if you would please hit the like, possibly subscribe, leave a comment if you choose so, um, and I will have uh, all the descriptions of everything and the link down in, in the description box uh, where you can get each item. Um, however, because... Timu does change prices because different vendors sell sometimes the same thing 
like this product may be sold by three or four different vendors on Timu. So, um, so basically, um, what was I going to say? I just had a brain fart. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's me. Uh, so what was I going to say about the vendors? Hold on, let me get my thoughts together. <laughs> okay, I remember what I was going to say. So, because different, depending on what price that each vendor is selling at, they all might be selling the same product at a different price on a different date, possibly a lightning deal or whatnot. <laughs> I'm such a blonde, I swear. Yes, I have I have gray roots now, but I was born a towhead. Yes, and that is a blonde. Move it along. Move it along. I digress. So anyhow, so I'm gonna put all the descriptions. So I'm gonna tell you what I paid for it from my receipt because I actually have it in front of me, versus what is um, put in the description box in the link. They may be two different numbers for that reason. So I'm gonna tell you what I paid for it. And then I'm going to give you the link and then we'll see what you, you come up with. So this is right here, a two pack silicone macaroon baking. Oh, suck a tash. Baking mat for baking pans, reusable pantry, cookie, bread, kitchen, all the good stuff. So, and I paid, let me get back out because let's see here. I paid $7.09. For this one and it's a two pack and hopefully we're holding this away from the mic enough that the people who get bothered by the crinkling don't get bothered too much but yet for the people who love the asmr asmr i think that's how you pronounce asmr i know y'all love this so this is kind of cool so even though technically well no when i'm making uh cookies and stuff with my grandson this is actually coming real handy. But I got this just as a silicone mat just to sit on my um, my baking pans for when I do use the oven. For like when my HelloFresh calls for, <coughs> excuse me, for oven use. And I'm having to, I don't like to have to scrape off my stuff. Anyhow, so I got this. I thought this was pretty cool. So yeah, so that was $7.09. I got two of them. For, I guess, probably most likely the price of one. Okay, so let's move along to the next thing. So, let's see. I don't, I have the, this feeling I know what this might be. Where's my little thingy, booby dad? Well, suck a tash. So I've got to get up and go find it again. Okay. Hold on just one more minute. Okay, y'all have to forgive me for my disappointment in myself because I use that little Dooley Dad opener, the little flower thing that you get off the Timu that I bought for like 79 cents to open up my packages so I could look really cute on, on YouTube. I can't find it now. It's just like me. So I'm probably have to go on Timu and buy me a couple more and then set them all around the house somewhere. So every time I get up and do something, I got something. So I had to get some basic black scissors. That's no fun. Anyhow, so let's see what this is. Because I have a feeling this is the lighting that I wanted. That is meant for your pantries and your closets. And underneath dark shelving. And if that's the case, oh, I am going to be so excited because... I have all these little tiny corners and stuff that you just, I need light. And I can't always, because I, I can't see at night. I can't see in the dark. I'm one of those people that's not blind. I hate driving at night because those headlights absolutely blind me. So, oh yes, that has to be what these are. Let me find these on here. Let me find these on here. No? What? What is this? Is these from a different order? Oh, these are... 
Okay, so it is what I thought it is, but this is in a different order, so <laughs> whatever. So this is the two packets, 30 centimeters long. We'll open up this right here. See what we got. We got a UB, UBS little charger. That's nice. And this should come with magnets so that when it... Yes, it does. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh, a show, babe. A show. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, oh, and then the instructions just fail. Excuse me for the instructions falling, but whatever. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so it has an, an off and an on. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And all, everybody. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm so excited. So, yeah. Definitely going to have to buy more of those. <gasps> and I can change the type of light it is. Ain't that something? Strobe light. We ain't got a disco ball. That's all right, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving this. I love this. This is great. I can't wait to utilize this. Okay. So... And then there's the, the second one. So we'll go ahead and put that down. You know what? If that even lasts a couple months, because how, you know, let me go back. Let me go back because let me see where this was. Because I got, I got to be able to tell you, because I know this wasn't nothing but a couple pennies. Well, wouldn't go that far, but nonetheless. <clears throat> Wait a minute, hold the phone here. Let me put you on pause and find this so I don't waste our time. Okay, I finally found them. And it, yes, it's a two pack of wireless under cabinet LED lights that are magnetized, and they are $12.98 for the pack of two i will be ordering more that is an excellent deal and oh yes 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 i need this so bad it's not even funny okay so let's see what's next put all this garbage over here and oh yes okay so <clears throat> here's the thing um i'm not sponsored by timu in any way shape or form and i kept um wondering what people were talking about with all these nice reusable packages that were saying Timu and some people were saying that influencers get them some people were saying that anybody got them and for the most part I was starting to think that only influencers or maybe the people with affiliate were getting them but I really think the only difference between like this bag that is not an affiliate and not sponsored the only difference between this bag and those um, because this is, looks like the same bag to me, except for there's not a team loose sign on it. I don't care. But the fact that, um, a lot of stuff keeps coming in, in actually nice reusable packaging like this, that it doesn't say team on it. Some are clear, some are shaded, but for the most part, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm, I'm seeing that even though this bag looks like it was gone through, um, that somewhere along the line, I think Customs was actually nice on this particular package because I've had some that came in worse packaging than this. But but for the most part, this one seems to be real nicely done. So let's get this open because this, yes. Let me see here. Let me find it. Let me go back to my other page and we'll get it found. Let's see here. This is the one. Get my receipt up. I wish it didn't take so long. So let's see here. Okay. So, well, suck it, Tash. Where is it all? I thought I had all this together, and apparently I just don't. Makes me want to just spit fire at myself. Oh, suck it, Tash. 
So, I have a feeling it's on this one. Uh uh uh. Some people, Samantha's, I said, tell you what, you can't take me nowhere. Where in the tar fire? I'm gonna get hot mad at myself right about now because this is some this is some horse poop, Pookie. Oh wait a minute, am I looking in the wrong? <laughs> I'm looking in the wrong one anyway. Whatever. Now let's see here. This should be the one right here. Oh my goodness! Nope, that's not it. That's not. Is that it? Okay, let's see here. Let me let me get it out and open it up, and then I'll tell you what it really is. Because the way they have things sometimes doesn't always look like what it really is. So, because this is storage bag, and I know I got a. Oh, this could be the large capacity storage bag. Oh, no. I know what this one is. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Yes, 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 yes. These are so cool. And I was looking at the different reviews and the different kinds. And this one seemed the sturdiest. And <clears throat> let me find this one because this one, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay, so it's not on this page, so I'm going to get it up here in just a second so I can tell y'all how much, how much I got, how much I paid for mine. Oh, suck a dash. Is it in this one? Is it in this one? Or is it in this one? Maybe I could just go across like that. What the heck? What the hell, just bail? I know I paid for this. Did I? Wait a minute, did I not pay for this? This ain't no free gift, is it? Because this is. What? Okay, y'all, hold the phone. Okay, I was correct. I was lost. But I, done, I did it to myself. Okay, all right. So, it's on this one. This is a one-piece overdoor wall mount with four clear... Actually, this one is... Uh, yeah, no, this is the four clear one. Anyhow, so moving along with the whole story of... How I decided on this one because it took me at least two weeks to figure out which one I wanted and who I was going to buy this from. And I bought this from BZZ, CZZ. I, I don't know. Anyway, this particular piece from this particular seller was $14.98. And yes, as far as I'm concerned, the, the reviews were the best they had the best um realistic reviews and how i mean is the people who actually bought it the people who weren't paid or whatever people say um they had done a, a video thing and the person you could see that the person was at home they had crap on their bed that was their own personal crap like everybody else's crap on their bed so i pretty much took that for this is a real person buying this and yeah and so far, this looks exactly, this is nice and sturdy. This is strong. This isn't going to bust. So what I wanted to buy this for is absolutely going to work. Absolutely going to work. Yes. So, you know, I think that if I had gone with a different seller and a, the, the other brand, I don't think I would have been happy. And even though it would have been cheaper because it was only $6, it looked flimsy and the reviews that were honest didn't seem very nice and when the one that took only one took like a faint picture and it just it didn't look good so I said I'm, I'm not gonna get that I'm just not gonna do that so I waited until I found the right vendor with the right material with the right right structure and I feel like I did my due diligence in this 
So I'm very excited to put this up. And when I do, I will show you. Okay. So I'm really liking this. This is nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So next. Oh, okay. So this is a magnet door curtain insulation kit, whatnot. Um, I've had these before. I wanted to see how well this was really going to hold up compared to the other ones that I bought that were more expensive. Um, I'm already uncertain about this material. It comes with a magnet screen door um, instructions. So you can see how to put it up. So that's not bad. Comes with all the tape that you need actually comes with all, all the stuff that we need to put together with. And then the only thing is, is that I thought this was going to be more of a screen and not just a plastic door. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. However, I could be convinced to be happy with it. Because the fact that I'm seeing now that the two sides are really small. And I have a small door because, yes, I live in a fifth wheel. Um, I never have wanted to own a, um, a foundation home. Um, I'm a Floridian and I live in Washington. And I have a very hard time with the weather and the lack of sun and stuff here. So not only do I suffer from mental illness um because it's depression i also suffer from the seasonal depression whatever sad stuff that they suffer from up here on top of it so it's just it's not good for my mental health and one of these days i will be able to move out of the state of washington and when i do i don't want to have to start all over again i'm too old for that crap and to be perfectly honest i I don't want to have to deal with the short sale. I don't want to have to deal with easements. I don't want to have to deal with um, bullcrap neighbors that I don't get along with. I don't want to have to listen to them, you know, yelling at each other. I don't want to hear all that crap. And I don't want them to hear, hear me yelling at myself or the fly on the wall for that matter. I don't want to hear them fart. In most places around here, you could pass the great poupon still. I know that that's going to elude a lot of y'all, especially the younger generation who don't even know who Grey Poupon is. Anyway, nonetheless, this, this might suffice. We'll see. The p fact that it's not um, screen, that's where it leads me to believe I may have an issue. I may decide I don't like it. So we'll have to see. Um, I'll give you an update on that. This may be something that I go, okay. Um, it costs $16.98. Pretty good deal. I may be able to. I don't know if I would return this though because I'm not. This wouldn't have to. This I don't feel like I would return this for the simple fact that um, the quality is good. I'm I'm not having an issue with the quality. I don't see where anything's ripped. I see where everything was nicely made. Um, I the the thing that is wrong with it was me because even though I may have done my due diligence on my other little thing over here, apparently I didn't do my due diligence over here because, like I said, I realized it was plastic and not a screen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Let's see. Magnetic door curtain, insulated door curtain, magnetic door cover, winter doorways curtain. Privacy protection, easy clean, instantly install. Okay, so you know what? It doesn't really tell you, but if you look, if I was to have looked at the picture, that's pretty self-explanatory, Samantha. 
you were not getting a screen you were getting plastic so you got what you paid for and it's quality so like i said that's on me that's not the company <laughs> that's me so if it doesn't work in my home, I'm not going to ask for my money back. I would rather donate it to somebody where they feel that it would be good because it is quality. Um, so this is not Timu's fault and it's not the vendor's fault. It's all my fault. So I am dissatisfied with my own choice. They did nothing. Move along. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Now, this is one that I think I'm really going to like because I I did, for the most part, my due diligence. And I think it's just going to barely fit my sink. It is a sink caddy with ring holders. Yes. And let's see. This was $7.48 and it's one piece. So basically here you have the top piece here to set your stuff. Oh, okay. To, oh, so this sits, okay. You know what? If I really look at the picture on my receipt, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to put that together right now. Okay. Oh, and you can take it apart to clean it if you need. I like that. I like that a lot. And I can put all my stuff in here and my little brushes. And then all the water will either drain into here or drip out. Or at least, or at least that's, the, that's the idea. So, I'm going to put this at my sink. And, um, yeah, later on down the road I'll be able to tell you whether it really worked or not and how handy or inconvenient it truly is. So $7.48, that's not bad. Uh, so far, I like it. Okay, so, and then next we have, ooh, this is for my husband. And this is because I had bought him a, um, a shower bag in his favorite color but I didn't realize that because the bottom part the zipper bottom part was um, a wet bag so that he could put any of his wet stuff in there that he didn't want to um, get wet but he could so but his um, body wash didn't fit inside the bag so we had to put it in the wet part so his body wash is hanging out so I got this for him to put his body wash in so he could carry his bag and not have to worry about carrying that big old bulky body wash. So we'll, um, I'll fill it up and have him try it out and come back and let you know oh, how it works so far that, oh my goodness, I mean, what? Hold on. Is that one of those? Wait a minute. Don't you spin it and turn it or something? Okay, I don't know how I'd, how you do that right now, but um, all these things come apart. What? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's too cute. I can dig that. Okay, I'm just messing with things now, and I need to move on because this is going to be forever. So, yeah, that was $2.58, and that's a transparent bottling empty plastic bottle, and that was for, it holds 300 milliliters, so quite a bit, actually. All right, next. Ooh, this is a LED motion sensor light, 360 rotating and they charged me eight dollars and 88 cents for one it comes with little instructions like so uh a stamp of approval apparently maybe uh quality assurance wait oops 
Okay, and Miss Drops a lot. It also comes with a UBS cord for uh, charging. And then, oh my goodness. Look at that, it's so cool. It's so cool. Oops. And look, yes. In the makeup world, they call that peel porn. Shh. Wait a minute, I shouldn't have said that P word. That would probably get me demonetized later on. Gotta watch for that. Yeah, because that was a major slip up. So pardon my French. Anyhow, so moving along. So let's see here. Off, on, on. Oh, very nice. And then I'm going to assume that, oh, motion sensor. Auto. I'm not sure what auto would be. But I know those it turns on. And then I'm oh. I just tossed this to the floor thinking it was nothing. Apparently, this is a sticker that goes on the back so that you can stick it to something. I won't have to Okay. Well, I was going to think about reading the instructions, but I can't read Chinese. Okay, well, scratch that. I'll figure it out. I'll get it right. I'll figure out how to get it up there on my ceiling. I'm pretty sure this is the, the sticky disc that you'd stick on. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so far, I just kept me having to figure these things out, huh? All right, move along. Oh, yes. Okay, so then I also have a 24 pocket storage hanging uh, basket or hanging door organizer. And this is $5.38 for one. And with how I have things situated, I can go ahead and take all my flip-flops and all my smaller shoes that tend to take up all this space and put it on the back of one of my doors to free up all that space. This is nice because they're just small, thin little flip-flops, not, not anything big, but they just take up so much room and I have so many because I'm a shoe addicted person. I am addicted to purses, shoes, makeup. You don't even want to get me started on my makeup. Boxy Charm Alone and Ulta and Sephora. And then I'm just going to stop there because I'm just going to embarrass myself. All I can tell you is that um, I'm a good bargain shopper. Let's just remember that. I'm a good bargain shopper. Anyhow, so I'm really liking this. So like I said, this was $5.38 for 24 uh, pockets. And it's only on one side, which is fine because I'm going to um, hang it up all against the door. So I'm not going to want to have uh, flip-flops on the other side because then that would just make it really bulky and then would clang up against the door and that would drive me nuts. So... Next, moving along. I am so happy with this so far. Okay, so then we have um last few little things for this haul. So then we have this. This is so cute. I had to get this for my grandson uh, for when he's here. And like I said, because of how I live, um, I have tried to make sure that I live as minimalistic and as organized as possible and even though he's not a baby it'd be easier for him because it's just one for me to make something some kind of little cool little uh juice drink put it in there freeze it for him let it get frozen and then when it's done he can take it out and then he can hold on to it up here not get his hands dirty as much as possible while he's Drinking his little or eating on his icicle pop. So, 
blue for boy because the only other one they had was like pink for a girl and I mean we're not trying to be sexist here nothing but come on now yeah if they had had a red or um, a yellow or gr well green's my favorite color so I probably would have gotten green <laughs> but this is for my grandson and yeah it's just just a cute little cheesy little thing it's only a dollar thirty eight it's you know you got to make sure that it's just sitting there because it's just going to sit on top of there. There's nothing that's going to keep it held down or nothing. It's just it's going to fall off. So it's just a cute, basic little something. So when it's not being used, put it like that, put it in the drawer, store it away. I think that's a pretty good investment. I like that. Something cute and simple for my grandbaby for when he comes over and sees Granny. That's right. Okay, so... Last but not least, okay, no, definitely not last but not. So silicone magnet hub, um, whatever, newly dads. And these are $3.28 a piece. And these are too cute, too cool. So each one is a different color. And they're little magnets. So instead of having to keep all these and having to keep up with them and losing them or whatnot, when you have your little magnets going, bringing your stuff with you, you can go around as many times as you need on this. Because look, <coughs> <coughs> okay, excuse me there. I didn't want to sit there and cough in your ear. Not very polite. Anyhow, but I like that. And I got a whole bunch of them. So if I need to, I'll go get some more because... This is an excellent idea, and it's a really good way to be able to see your thing and go, okay, you know, I'm going to reuse this. Anyhow, so that was three three twenty eight. I'm really, really, really digging this. The random color ten pieces, awesome. And then, very last but not least, we have a one piece plastic hanging basket for the kitchen, and it is four fifty eight. <coughs> Once again, I apologize. But if I have to cough or sneeze, I'm going to pause because I'm not trying to have that in your ear. It's bad enough this crinkly stuff is in some people's ear that don't like it. So this was $4.58. And I knew I was getting a small one. And I was hoping that it would be somewhat this size. And I am so happy. I am so glad I got this. And now that I see exactly what it is yes 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 very much yes i really do like this because <clears throat> the fact that i can put this together clip it on the back of the wall underneath my sink and it's just small enough and just deep enough to hold my stuff underneath the sink and if I need to, because of the size, I can go ahead and get another small one. But because of how small they are and the length and stuff, I can go up and I can get the next size and actually hang it on the door inside. So I could end up with three, two small ones and a big one for underneath my, my sink in my kitchen. And I tell you what, with it, because I try to keep my cleaning supplies in order and up to date and and try to go through kind of like you do your medicine, you rotate and you look at your expiration date and you make sure that none of your cans are um, leaking anything, no rust is happening around the, the lids or whatnot. And this is an excellent way to keep all the little stuff up off the floor and out of my way. Look how nice and deep that is. Oh, I love this. So $4.58 and now that I'm seeing seeing all this for myself and I'm getting to put my hands on it and stuff and seeing how this is going this is worth it to me this is definitely worth it to me um, and I will still give you updates but so far I I'm, I'm enjoying what I have purchased yeah this <laughs> this should really work I'm really impressed with this. I cannot believe how nice this stuff is. No, it don't only go so in one way. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Holla, girlfriend. Holla. 
It's the little thing in life that gets me, I'm telling you. You can't take me nowhere. You can't leave me nowhere. But we're going to have a good time when we get there. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is the end of my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I can't wait for the next one because I've got one, two, three, three more to go. And with the way that shipping is, um, I'm not having any issues because um, once again, we have been refunded money. Oh, 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 I almost forgot to tell you. I was so excited. So they have that uh, refund your money thing that if you buy something and within a certain period of time, that if that vendor that you bought it from um, is going through a lightning deal on something that you bought from them within a certain frame that you can go ahead and get your money back and get like a refund or something. Well, I just happened to go into some of my delivered ones because um, it's definitely been within the 30 days and I've bought a lot of things for not a lot of money and I really feel I've gotten all my money's worth and good products so i just happened to go in there and open up that feature and kind of explore it and look at it and lo and behold i know it wasn't very much but when i put when everything got calculated all together from from different purchases from from different vendors from from all the different orders that i've made so far even ones that haven't gotten here yet once i haven't even gotten here yet from the first order to the ones i haven't even gotten here yet all of them and like I said, it's not very much, but they did. I got a total of $2.61 back. What company does that? Amazon, nobody else. So, <clears throat> but like I said um, in a, a video before, I believe, if I didn't say it, I should have said it. And if not, I'm saying it now. Um... Before I started really shopping on Timu because I wanted to see what the fuss was about. And then I wanted to see how many of these items could I really find here in Washington, in Everett, Washington, around me, in my vicinity, for the same price or cheaper that wasn't from China. You think I could find anything? Nope. I mean, and when I started looking at everyday things that people would normally buy that this site that like, cause there's things that people wouldn't normally buy that or that on, that are on this site that people wouldn't normally buy. Apparently I don't know how to speak proper English, but then again, we're no longer teaching our children cursive and civil war and anything real in history these days. So <laughs> there you go. And I was made in the 70s and raised in the 80s. So there you go. Anyhow, what I'm trying to get at is that I've tried to go and see if I can buy American made by Americans in America. And I, there's hardly anything except for food. There wasn't anything, not only not locally made, but certainly not made in America that wasn't so expensive that I couldn't afford it. If and when I found something, it was very, I didn't find hardly anything. Most of the things were made in China, Japan, Indonesia, India. Where's the United States? But yet we're supposed to support American, uh, the American pocket. Well, I think it, the thing is, is that we get misconstrued here is that we tell corporations it's okay to outsource jobs in the marketplace so they can make money and mark up those same products and sell them back to us Americans for 300% and higher uh, versus Americans going and buying directly from those Chinese markets and skipping the middleman. So I think that's the problem. And if that's the case, um, if you take your jobs elsewhere and, and you don't have Americans making anything because you don't want to pay Americans what Americans feel they're worth, because I certainly don't see any Americans out there in the, in the fields picking um, apples and oranges but yet we keep complaining that uh, some of these people are taking our jobs, our American jobs, but I don't see that. 
I see Americans giving their jobs away and allowing corporations to take those same jobs and send them overseas, but then getting upset when the American people buy directly from overseas instead of using them as a middleman. Sorry, I understand commerce. I understand trade. I understand business. I understand corporations. And uh, I may not be able to explain it right, but I get it. So therefore, I will put my coin where I see fit. And if you agree with that, then come back and join me because not only will I have more of this, but I'll have a grandson who probably gets on your last nerve. And by the way, I'm the only honky in this family. I have a very mixed family. Very mixed family. And I'm very proud of that family. And I am the matriarch of that family so that family wouldn't exist if i wasn't here so um please be respectful of that uh you don't have to like me and you don't have to like my family and if that's the case you can go ahead and take it to another channel but if you do like my family and you like me and you like what we're about and you like spreading love and joy and positivity and um, showing off some really cool things and, and, and um, sharing some finds together, that'd be great. Come back. You're welcome. My casa, mi casa, su casa. Let's see, I'm just a white girl from the South, but I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful and a blessed day. Like, subscribe, comment. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.